Okay guys, here we go. This would be great decor, especially like in a bar or restaurant. I have that marked 50% off. I've also got one of my frame arts that is marked, 50, uh, excuse me, 40% off. Table. And this Pioneer Woman calendar. Just got that. That's really nice. It's enamel comic. I have these little chairs, these little child's chairs that I came into, and I've got them five dollars a piece. They have been used, but they're in, they're in good condition. I mean, they might be a little. You know, I did not clean them up. I just put them in my booth, but they might be great to put outside. For the kids to both sit on and they're good little folding chairs. So I think I have eight of those total and I've got them at five dollars a piece. And then this is my new Barbie display. I happened to come into some Barbie stuff unexpectedly. And so I thought with the Barbie maybe we just go ahead and make a display. We're out, we're moving. Oh. See, we're downstairs. There we go. And I have also priced them to where uh, eBay sellers could purchase these. Since I'm not an eBay seller. Um, so I'll have some meat on the bone with those. Uh, okay. There's the Martina McBride. We have, what is this one? My Scene Barbie. We have a James Dean. Uh, I love Lucille Ball in the Santa costume. And then we have Vintage right there. We have this one right here. I'm trying not to make y'all dizzy. That light's shining through. Sorry, guys. Okay. We'll go down in here. And we have some older Barbies down in here. And then I have a Barbie case. This is perfect 80s style right here. Okay. So here we go. That is... I have about four or five more at home. Um, I've just got to do a little bit more work. I have a couple really, really cute outfits back here. There's that. And then you can see the other one back in there. Then we have our child's chairs again, books, little child's uh, table. And then we have all of our pottery from the pottery that I came into oh and I got an Anna Lee for anyone who collects those and like I said guys I have really really tried to be mindful of my prices for everybody and that right there that little uh, vintage sh um, drummer girl okay so you don't see the girls very often with the drums on the old stuff but i mean the boys they're they're not as rare but when you find a girl on a drummer planner like that that's a pretty rare one and i got my this is a beautiful lamp 50% off on that. All hand painted. Beautiful. You couldn't even buy the shade for what I'm asking for it. Okay. And like I said, I'm, I'm getting glare, but I do not know. And that's one of Mom's paintings. Isn't it adorable? It's framed. I've only got $19.99 on that. Look at it with that planter beside it. How cute that is. Oh, somebody knocked out the little look at that together how cute that is how cute that 
it is. That's adorable. Let me see how much I have on the planter. I have $12.99 on the puppy planter. $12.99. And then this one I just absolutely think is adorable. This little I have $19.99. This is a vintage mid-century modern pastel ceramic running donkey planter. Oh, isn't that color just adorable? I just love it. We have a praying Madonna planter. Look at this little pig guy. He's $12.99. Isn't he adorable? This one right here with the paint loss, that one is really old. We have our fish. This little puppy here. Our little pig. Strawberry bucket. The strawberry cookie jar, I have 25 on it. And I think this one is Maurice of California is the maker. We have a Hager bow right here. Okay, I'm gonna try to, I have some jeans and shorts down in this area. I have my plushes. I've got quite a few more plushes at home that I just not have not had time to get to. Some of these are marked 50% off. You would just have to, to check them. It's another one of mom's painting. This one will be great in a farmhouse. Um, $19.99. Can't even frame it for that. I have this Italian shelf. And it is 50% off. It's a really beautiful, majestic, ceramic made Italian vintage shelf. There's my logo in my booth. We have some purses here. I can straighten up stuff as I go. Got my stickers. Got Christian mental health and positive vibes, vintage inspired, retro groovy and aliens. Y'all just come on in. Star Wars. Oh no, that's fine. The Office and um, different memes. Then I've got these bracelets. They're like um, different. I've got epilepsy, asthma, pacemaker. It's just like a bracelet that someone can wear um, to let them know. In case there's any medical, there's even, I've got one for a peanut allergy. And then I've got these little squeakers here and these little paper mache. Like this little paper mache radish, which I have five dollars on that. Little vintage paper mache lettuce or cabbage, that may be cabbage. Little paper mache onion. These are all five dollars. And then I have. Um, the squeakers down in here, the little kitschy squeakers. I have these rocks, these flat rocks that are really nice. And um, I know a lot of people are into rocks right now for making jewelry, but these would also be great if you're an artist or a painter uh, to paint little scenes on these rocks. I know that that sells really well. Um, we've had a couple uh, other vendors who came into some rocks that were already painted and they sold very quickly. So if you're an artist, that's something to think about. Uh, painting little scenes on those rocks. Okay, I've got some stuff up here. And don't forget to look up too. I need to put some signs in here that says, look up. Because I generally, and most vendors generally try to use every bit of their available space. Here's some of my plushies fun stuff. I like for kids to be able to come into the mall and um, have things for them. Uh, have, have fun stuff so that they can have a little section that they can look at. Okay, I've got a bunch of dinosaurs in here that are marked very reasonably. So if the parent, I, I know when I bring, I would bring my kids to the store, they'd always you know, need to get a little bit of something. And uh, I've made a little basket here. And I also have down in the bottom, which they kind of tend to settle, I have like Thomas the tank engine stuff that kind of settled down in the bottom of that basket. So if you're into Thomas stuff, they're individually packaged and they're down in the bottom of that. Okay, 
Okay, we've got a vintage Hot Wheels container here. Y'all can just come right on in. Don't. I won't get you on camera, but feel free to come on in. Just trying to get a little video for those people that can't make it in today. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hey, I look at them. I do, hey, I do too. <laughs> I love to look at stuff online and get an idea of what's in there. Um, you know, in case I see anything that I might, can make a trip in. And then we got these purses here. Let's see, this one here is a, called a seatbelt purse. And it is Oh yeah, me too. This is like really, really neat and it's brand new. It's very heavy duty. I've got a Winnie the Pooh tie here, which is I thought was really cool. I actually got the Winnie the Pooh tie for Aaron and he said no. So, it is in the booth. I thought that'd be cute for a teacher to wear that, but um, he wasn't feeling it, so it came to the booth. I've got some hats right here. Yeah, we've got purses. This one down here, oh, I love this red one. This is the um, Genuine Sonoma Jean Company crochet. We've got this little adorable one right here. That was so cute with the bling. I believe that this one, right here, this black one, that's a sack purse. And this one right here is a Kathy Van Zeeland. And then I need to move these off because it's hard to see. Oh my, I got a couple. All right, there we go. We got those moved off so you can see it better. I don't like not being able to see that stuff. Sorry if I'm crazy. And then, of course, you know I've got all my books. Got all my books. Here's one more look. I said I was only going to do a couple minutes on that. And look at me, I'm at 12 minutes. Like I said, when you're in the malls, be sure and look up. Be sure and look up. You've got stuff up here. Oh, and something that I always forget to show, too. This would be so cute in a classroom. Look at my hot air balloon. This is a vintage hot air balloon. You see that? Wayne's got that hanging up there. Um, it's a vintage Allen hot air balloon folk art. It's from the 1960s or 70s. I got that out of an estate sale and that would be absolutely adorable hanging in a classroom. Uh, it's really cute. Okay, I'm going to call this one it. I'm going to go back to the other booth, do me a video back there, and I'm going to catch the, um, the cases, and then I'm going to head out. Thank y'all.